Hey folks, this is Tom Von Deck, and you're about to learn how to perform a moon gazing meditation technique in the Trataka tradition. Trataka, also known as Tratak, was a pillar of Hatha Yoga before postures and breathing exercises began to dominate that system. Trataka means fixed gazing in Sanskrit. When doing Trataka, the object you gaze upon can be just about anything a candle flame, a campfire, or a picture of your grandma. In this meditation, you're gazing at the moon. It doesn't have to be a full moon. You're gazing at the moon. Why stare at the moon in the first place? There's something about the changing cycles of the moon that makes this moon gazing practice special. They remind the psyche about the cycles of life. Ultimately, all experiences of phenomena can be broken down to vibration and cycles. All matter is ultimately a collection of tiny vibrations of light. The moon itself is a powerful meditation object because of its influence on the subtle psychic energy and dream functions. People who are very sensitive tend to be quick to notice this, in most cases. And if you're not into all that woo-woo stuff, don't worry about it. Forget I just said it. It doesn't matter. When can you practice moon gazing? You can practice this technique as a full moon meditation or nightly, whenever the moon is available. You can also snap a picture of the moon so that you have something to gaze upon when the moon is unavailable. Or go online and look at pictures of the moon that you like. If they take you to a really special place within, that's an image you want to choose, of course. The more absorbed you can be in that image, the better. And if you're just gazing at a photo, you can darken the room just enough so that your focus is entirely on the photo. And how do you do this moon gazing meditation? I'll tell you. There are two things to remember during this moon meditation. You want to breathe calmly through the nose. You also want to relax into the whole experience, allowing all tension to soften as you notice it. So you gradually want your tension in your body to soften. Go outside to a place where you can easily see the moon, and then gaze at the moon without blinking for as long as you can. Imagine the moon as an experience happening inside of you. Because ultimately, that is exactly what it is anyway. It's a moment-to-moment -moment experience that is unfolding inside of you, moment-to-moment. -moment. And you want to allow the gaze to soften so that you increase your ability to take in the moon. You want to relax into your experience of the moon and merge with it. You want to become one with the moon. And I know that sounds cliche and like a bunch of hooey. Become one with the moon, brother. Now, as you become more intimate with the experience of the moon, you are, in a sense, falling in love with the moon. Lovers merge. There's nothing hippy-dippy about that. There's nothing... Uh, there's no poppycock here. Um, lovers merge. Maybe you've uh, experienced that before. They become one, even though they have separate personalities. This is what concentration meditation is all about. And when doing this moon-gazing Trataka meditation, the eyes may start to water. If so, let a few tears come out. Then close your eyes. If they don't water, Close your eyes once you feel like it's a strain to keep them open. And whenever your eyes are closed, you may notice you may notice an imprint of the moon inside. It may be different colors than the actual moon. It's not going to look exactly like it, and that's okay. But you should experience some type of impression from your gazing. So while your eyes are closed, this is your object of focus now. This is your object of meditation. And with your eyes still closed, you want to point your eyes upward toward the point between the eyebrows. Some people call it the third eye point. 
you may feel a sweet spot that feels just right so that you, you know you're, quote, looking in just the right spot. And then keep watching that impression of the moon that's inside, that's uh, happening with your eyes closed. The impression may start to disappear after a few moments. If it does, open your eyes and gaze at the moon again. You have just completed one cycle. If you don't see the impression, that's okay. Focus on your breathing during that time. When your eyes have recuperated, open them up and repeat the whole cycle, starting with the gazing at the moon. By the way, if you want more people to see this content, don't just click the like button. Share a comment, too. I found that comments make videos more visible to new people, more than clicking the like button does. It's pretty amazing how it works. Ask insightful questions or share your stories about moon gazing. Answer other people's questions. But please, leave a comment. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you. Uh, there's an alternative way to do this. Some teachers suggest that you actually try to recreate the image of the moon when your eyes are closed, instead of just looking at whatever impression happens to be there. Um, you can do it either way. If you want to experiment with both, try one for a while, then the other, and then leave a comment under this video and let us know how your experiment went. Either way, the image of the moon will reconstruct itself more completely in your mind's eye as time goes on, the more you do this meditation. The inner impression of the moon is, in a sense, just as real as the moon that you were gazing at with eyes open. Both are experiences happening inside of you. With moon gazing meditation practice, you may become more aware of this reality over time. It'll unfold. The uh, awareness will unfold. If you're a beginner, you might be able to keep your eyes open without blinking for 15 seconds or so. After a while, you may increase this as stamina allows. Some people will moon gaze for 10 or 15 minutes without blinking. The moon gazing meditation is a concentration meditation. If the mind wanders off, you go right back to the moon or its inner imprint, whichever one you're focusing on at the moment. But you can also turn this into a mindfulness meditation as well. That means when thoughts come up, instead of going right back to what you were focusing on, you just take note of them and allow them to be what they are, and, and just note that the thoughts are happening in the moment, they're not distracting you from the present moment. They're happening in the present moment, and you're just being cool with looking at them uh, impartially, observing them, and you're putting your focus on the thinker instead of the thought. And then when you're ready, just go back to the moon, or the impression of the moon. Now, what are the health benefits of moon gazing? We won't get into the scientific reality here, but here are some of the reported benefits of moon gazing meditation. The benefits of Trataka in general include, but are not limited to the following, relief from insomnia, remarkable concentration abilities, correction of eye problems like nearsightedness and farsightedness in the early stages of cataracts, I haven't verified that, but it's a common claim. And then another one is the development of the third eye and intuitive abilities. And one more, a deep relaxation and many of the other benefits you receive from meditation. And then uh, specific benefits coming from the moon is even more refined third eye development uh, and uh, intuitive abilities than you might get from staring at a candle flame. There's, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a certain magic to the moon. But of course, there's very special magic to fire, too. Uh, candle flames and fire, they're going to have different properties. And what are your experiences with Trataka and moon gazing meditation? Please, please, please share your stories in a comment below. Hey folks, this is Tom Von Deck. If you want to cut through the internet clutter and determine your personal best meditation technique while learning rarely taught secrets for making meditation far easier in daily life, 
then try the free course at deepermeditation.net. You'll find the best practice for you, a unique individual. You'll use little-known secrets that make meditation far easier to do. Fit meditation into a busy schedule while reaping all its benefits. And if you already have your best technique, you get to learn what to do before, after, and between sessions to go much deeper into meditation and turn every minute of each day into a meditation. And that's all at DeeperMeditation.net. That's all for now. Thanks for listening.